Falcon 9 tanks are pressing for strong back retract. No T minus four minutes, 45 seconds and counting. We're now getting SpaceX mission audio, and you heard the call out for the start of the strong back retract sequence. The clamp arms will open up just underneath the payload fairings. And the transporter erector will recline about a degree and a half away from the Falcon 9 rocket. Strong bank retract in progress. As we are just now three and a half minutes away from liftoff. So only appreciate if you haven't already, be sure to give this live stream a like and share the stream. That'll allow more folks to find this live coverage as we enter into the final minutes before liftoff. Now T minus Three minutes, three seconds, and counting from the liftoff of this Falcon 9 rocket. It has been some time since we've had a daylight or a sunset Starlink launch, so assuming it doesn't just get swallowed up by some clouds, it should be a fairly spectacular sunset liftoff coming up in less than three minutes. Stage one locks load is complete. Do you hear that call out for stage one locks load wrapping up? Falcon 9 just about done with the fueling process. We come into the last two and a half minutes of the count. Let's see a few more folks have been supporting in the live chat here. Promise we'll get to your support on the other side of the launch, but just want to answer a question briefly. Uh, $5 super chat from Cyborg Alan Ray asking, are these just internet satellites or are they direct to sell as well? SpaceX has not specified Stage two lock float is complete. that these include direct to sell as well, but we don't believe that there are any direct to sell ones as well. On this particular flight, after launching the first six on the Starlink 7-9 mission, it's understanding they're going to go through some testing on those and learn what they need to before continuing on with the launch of direct-to-cell capable Starlink satellites. Ground gas closeouts. Thanks for the question. Thanks for the support. And again, we'll come back to the rest of your support on the other side of the launch here. We're on T-minus one minute, nine seconds and counting. At this point, the onboard computer should have control of the count and we'll be hearing the launch director giving their final Falcon 9 is in startup. Go for liftoff. Coming up in the next several seconds. Go for launch. And we hear that we are go for launch, and so we are getting ready for just the second launch of the year from the Cape, coming up in less than 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Here we go. Ten. Here we go. Nine, Nine, eight, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, two, two one. one. Ignition, Ignition and liftoff. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket on the Starlink 6-35 mission. The Falcon 9 has cleared the tower 
getting ready to send those 35 Starlink satellites on their way to low Earth orbit. Falcon 9 climbing into the sunset here. We're now 30 seconds into flight. Let's listen to the roar of the nine Merlin engines. We're now T plus 52 seconds in counting. The Merlin engines will be throttling down shortly as the Falcon 9 approaches max Q, point of greatest aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. And some great tracking views from Pete Carson's with max Q Productions. Falcon 9 now traveling faster than the speed of sound. We're getting some great views from our tracking team. This is our Adam Bernstein's camera here at the press site. Falcon 9 now through the point of greatest aerodynamic pressure, max Q. Now a minute and a half into flight. Less than a minute left on the burn of the first stage. And here that call for MVAC chill down beginning as they thermally condition the Merlin vacuum engine before its ignition. Some great tracking views here. A little over two minutes into flight. T plus two minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Coming up in less than five seconds will be stage separation. And Miko. Oh, just a gorgeous view of stage separation there from Pete's tracking camera. As the Falcon 9 first stage prepares to orient itself in preparation for its entry burn, we still have the second stage in view. A little bit of a jellyfish effect as you see the setting sun glinting off of the Falcon second stage, and we see the fairings now separating. On the right-hand side, you'll see, there you go, fairing separation from the Falcon 9's onboard flight cameras. Just a spectacular long view of these payload fairings as they drift away from the Falcon upper stage. They'll fall down into the Atlantic Ocean under parachutes. And your call out from uh, SpaceX that everything remains nominal with this mission. Now a little over four minutes into flight. Coming up the next milestone is the first stage entry burn. That's coming up at T plus six minutes and 13 seconds. A little less than two minutes away from now. We're getting some views of the Second stage, Merlin vacuum engine, first from Chuck and currently from Pete. On the right-hand side, the top box, you see the onboard camera from the Falcon 9 first stage. A view in between two of the hypersonic grid fins there on the first stage as Falcon 9 is making its way down towards the drone ship. A short fall of Gravitas waiting for it out in the Atlantic Ocean. Just beneath that, you see the burn of the Merlin vacuum engine. And a crisp horizon of our little blue marble. 
Now T plus five minutes, 16 seconds into flight. Less than a minute away from the start of the first stage entry burn, which will last about 22 seconds. Still getting some great tracking views from Pete Carson's here. Falconite first stage using those thrusters, which you'll see bursts of every now and again to correct the orient itself before it begins the entry burn. Less than 10 seconds. Our countdown clock in real time. The SpaceX feed at the bottom right hand corner of your screen on a slight delay. Energy burn now underway on the SpaceX feed. Stage one Energy boost burn. back. We'll have wrapped up in real time. Stage now, one landing boom confirmed. Coming up next will be the landing burn. Stage one landing burn. Six seconds. Because of the distance out and the height at which the landing burn will begin, we're not going to be able to see that from our tracking cameras on the ground. So we will use the onboard cameras from SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. And soon we will have views from the drone ship as well. As we are expecting to. Now T plus seven minutes, twenty or excuse me, seven minutes thirty two seconds counting. Stage one transonic. Falcon nine first stage now traveling below the speed of sound as it makes its way down towards the drone ship shortfall of gravitas. That entry burn coming up in 10 seconds in real time. Though the time to see it visually will be dependent on the clock from SpaceX that you see in the bottom center of your screen. But the landing burn was, will begin. Okay, you want a landing burn? In real time. See that beginning on the SpaceX feed right about now. Stage one landing moon. Bit of a choppy feed from Booster 1067, making its stage one landing moon deploy. Stage one landing moon confirm. Stage one touchdown. A fairly clean video feed from the drone ship, and we see that drone ship. Booster tail number 1067 sticking the landing for a 16th time. Just the fourth booster in SpaceX's roster to hit that milestone. I'm back shot down. And one of only three that is currently still flying that now has 16 or more flights underneath its proverbial belt. Nominal park orbit insertion. And the Merlin vacuum engine has now ceased firing. It is in that parking orbit as it's getting ready to set up for Starlink satellite deployment. It will remain in that parking orbit until T plus 54 minutes and 12 seconds. At that point, the Merlin vacuum engine will fire for a quick, a quick two second burn. And then at T plus one hour, five minutes and 22 seconds, the 23 Starlink satellites will deploy. As we gaze out here over an empty launch pad, first mission of